Hi everyone. There's been massive interest in one of my recent videos and rightly so because the people in that video um, acted in a pretty poor way to be honest. Now there has been a few comments about my learner should have stopped on the amber light. Now I'm not trying to defend my actions or the learner's actions because we acted in the right and proper way and I'm going to try and prove that I'm going to try and prove why we did but this channel is all about education and by no means am I ever going to encourage anyone to go through an amber light when you could have stopped but there are certain aspects and certain factors that people aren't taking into account and I'm going to try and show you these today just be careful ready for them to slow never try and make them even these have got sensors on Ready. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show people, which people do not understand, is the difference between dash cams and what we see normally, which is represented by this camera that I've got here. Now, I can explain it like this. It's like the mirrors in your car. The side mirrors, the curved or convex glass, and things always seem further away than they actually are. The middle mirror, or interior mirror, is flat glass, and that's like your true representation, if you like, of how far things are. And dash cams always distort the image that you see. So what I've done, I've set this camera up to approximately what I see with my own eye, which on this camera is approximately 25 millimeters, give or take. Now I've checked this with what I can see, and I can see just about the bottom of this lamppost up ahead and that's how I've set this camera but have a look at the difference with the dash cam now that's the first thing that people need to get working with the difference between the two is colossal so you can't make your opinion on how far people are from dash cams now let's go back to the same traffic lights in the original video let's show you what it actually looks like from a proper perspective. Okay, now I've got to put my foot down a bit to get to the same sort of speed. And I'm stopping quite quick. We need to stop before this driveway as well because if one of these cars coming the opposite direction lived in there we would also block the road which isn't good so effectively the stop line isn't where that sign is it's back here near the speed bump and that's important to think of as well which no one's got onto yet so here's the dash cam and the proper view matched up together. Apologies for the proper view, it's not stabilised, but you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Please also take note that the dash cam footage looks as though I'm driving much faster. Now I've just waited in this entrance, no one's around, totally safe, just so I can potentially keep things moving. I'm going to have to wait for a couple of cars behind me now, but as we can see the lights are just changing. We should be okay. I'm going to build speed up to the same sort of speed as my pupil was going. Let's have a little look at the time scale. I'm through. Now, what does this look like with your real view? So as you can see, the perspective of distance changes dramatically. I did say through slightly later on this clip than the original, but that's only because we didn't have anyone following from behind. So let's have a look at exactly what was going on behind. The same things that we've just talked about regarding perspective of the video can be applied to this clip also, but even more so because this camera has an even wider angle. 
The next thing to note is where I've paused this clip, which is just before I say through. So remember, this car behind is much closer than it appears and it's already committing to go through the lights. What if we'd have stopped in that situation? And don't forget, we've already said that we should be stopping over that speed bump that we can see in between ourselves and the black car. So let's do some analysis with our forward facing camera. Where I've paused this is literally the frame before the lights change on to amber. Now, thinking distance is approximately two thirds of a second, and that's without having a mirror check. So I'll move the video on two thirds of a second. So we've got to stop before this driveway with the car behind already committing to going through the lights. No wonder I said through. So from here, we've got to stop from 25 miles an hour to zero in less than two car lengths to stop before the driveway. Traffic light, single file traffic. Just be careful, ready for them to slow. Never try and make them. Even these have got sensors on. Through. 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 Yeah. Okay. Have a look at the warning 30 miles an hour sign. That's to the cars coming towards us, which are breaking the speed limit. Just slow. Put it in first. I'll report you. I'll report you. <laughs> well done. They're absolutely off the head. <laughs>